Question 6. Web design. A web page was created about the top three nations. Open the incomplete six top web page in a web browser and in a text or HTML editor. Now the correct one to use is Notepad++, so I've already set that to my default view. And once you've done that, we can just run it in the necessary program. I prefer Chrome. Right, let's go half screen. All right, no, do not answer this question in a word processor. I don't know why anyone would do that. Notepad++ is the correct program to use according to national policy. Question numbers are inserted as comments in the coding as guidelines to show approximately where the answers should be inserted. This is extremely important. I'll show you now why. An HTML tag reference sheet is attached as an addendum. Let's just open that. Alright, your final web page should look like the example below, and it's important to refer back to this as you do your paper. 6.1. Set the font type for the entire web page to Agency FB. Right, let's go C. 6.1. Now, just have a look. Right underneath 6.1, there they have already included a font tag. And if you have a look, it's actually opened and closed. So you can use it just as is. All you need to do is add the attribute face equals and specify the type. Um, oh, look at me. I'm typing like a complete <laughs> nonsense now. Just look at this quickly. I made a mistake now and I pressed the insert button instead of backspace. And I just wanted to show you this quickly. If you do that, um, it actually types over what you already have. Now, sometimes that might be nice, but most of the time I think most people would not want that. So please pay attention. Um, if you see your cursor looks funny and it's actually an underscore instead of just a straight up little stripe, and then it's because you press the insert button. All right, so face equals agency FB. Fantastic. All right, let's just leave that at 100%. 6.2. Center the heading medal standings. All right, so this is the one we want to center. 6.2. Now, you'll see if you actually look at your tag sheet, um, lots of people get confused because they see here by heading 1, it doesn't say anything about how to center it. But if you just look down a little bit, you'll see paragraph align left or center. So lots of people just put a new paragraph tag, and that is unnecessary. Anything you can do on a paragraph, you can also do on a heading. So we're actually going to go like this. Align equals center. And we're doing American spelling, correct? There you go. 6.3. Ensure that the background color of the first row of the table is the same as the font color of the web page. Right, that's an interesting one. You'll see the font color is this funny blue, but it's a very specific blue. It's not default blue. And then we want the first row to have the same color. So 6.3, here they indicate which row should be that color. And the font color of the entire web page, here we can find it color. And we can just go copy that. Now, the tag to put in a background color for a table or a page is BG color, correct? There you go. Cool. 6.4. Insert the six silver dot PNG picture found in your examination folder so that the first row of the silver column appears the same as the gold and bronze columns. Right, so at the moment we've got gold and bronze that has a little picture and we want um, silver to have the picture as well. So it's quite easy, 6.4. All we do is we're going to copy the one they've already done, paste and change the source. And just type it exactly like they gave it to you. And in this instance, that works perfectly. Now, say they didn't give you the file extension or something didn't work and you just wanted to check what's wrong. Um, you can just come back over here and check what the file type is. Uh, if you go right click, you'll see properties. There it shows you what the file extension is. You should not use it in cap capital letters. It should be lowercase. So um, .png is what should come after the word exactly like it's spelt over there. 6.5. Ensure that the information for England displays as shown in the example on the previous page. 
All right, so England should be 35, 55, 46. Let's just have a look at what it looks like at the moment. Okay, so these two cells, 35 and 55, are missing. Um, 46 and 136 are there. So let's have a look. Um, here, 6.5, England. Okay, so they've already given us, you'll see TH is a table header, so it's bold and centered. TD is our regular cells. So we can literally just go copy this and paste it two more times to change this thing to 35, 55, and 46. Save, refresh, and 35, 55, 46, there it looks the same. 6.6. .6. Make the following changes to the 6AUS JPEG picture. So you'll see we already have the picture there, we just need to make some changes. Change the height and width to 100. All right, so there we have 6.6 .6 image source J, uh, 6 AUS JPEG width height. All right, there you go. And then change, add the text, sorry, add the text AUS Commonwealth to display if the image cannot be displayed. All right, so that is alternative text. Let me just show you over here. Um, we've got the image over here. Alternative text, ALT is the attribute we're gonna add. Now, an ALT or alternative text attribute has two purposes. The one is to display this text if something is wrong with a picture. Now, you can't really test that at the moment. So if you want to test that, um, you can just go f make a mistake at the source, for example, and check that it works. There you go. It does work. Let's just go <laughs> re-fix that again. Um, the other purpose of alternative text is so that someone who uses screen reader software, so like um, someone who is visually disabled, for them... Um, for the screen reader software to read what is on each line, they will encounter a picture and if there's no description of the picture then the file, um, the screen reader will probably just read the file name or just say that it's an image. Whereas if you display, if you um, add a description in your alternative text, then the screen reader will read this description um, instead of just saying image. 6.7. Display the list items with square bullets. Right, so at the moment we have bullets over here, list item, list item, list item, but we still need to um, add the type of list and it should be an unordered list. Please open and close your tags and then we can specify the type. There you go. The last one was probably the most difficult, 6.8. Um, insert a bookmark in the appropriate place so that when the hi when hyperlink that has been created at the bottom of the web page is clicked, it will move to the top of the web page. So you'll see at the moment we have a hyperlink here that says back to top, but if you click it, it doesn't do anything. Um, I'm just zooming in because if it's obviously the regular size, how would I see if it goes back to the top? Because I can already see the top. So it helps me to zoom in and then I can see if it actually works or not. All right, so here, 6.8, they've already made the hyperlink. A, href, hashtag, head, back to top. Now let's go see on our tag sheet what this is all about. We're basically working with this section over here. Um, in HTML, they actually call it a target area, not a bookmark. So basically what we have is we um, we have this one. We have an anchor with, an, with a hyperlink reference to hashtag name. Now basically what that does is hashtag means it's a location in this document that we have defined um, and we give it a specific name. So it's not linking to an external image or an external page or something. It links to a place on the same page to a target area. So the thing that's missing is we have not defined the target area in the document. So let's go do that. So um, we wanted to go back to the top. So right before the words metal standing, I'm actually, well before that, I'll probably do it here at the top of body. So that word head 
doesn't have anything to do with the actual head tag. Um, that is just coincidental. They could have used any word. I'll show you now. Um, so because it is still on the same page, please put the anchor inside your body section. So I'm just going to open an anchor tag, close an anchor tag. You'll see it's completely invisible because I don't insert any text in between and I simply define the target area and I give it the same name that it had at the bottom just without the hashtag. Now if I click on it, it actually jumps back to the top. But this could literally have been anything. I can make this apple just to prove a point. Um, as long as the target area is also called apple, it'll work. See, all right, so the name of the uh, tag or the name of the target area is actually irrelevant, but use the one that they've, be, they've given you just to prove to you that it doesn't have anything to do with the actual head. All right, hope that helped.